to get on the back of the court. Doesn't take a lot of time between games or during the sit down. And he pops right back up after about 15 seconds and knows the momentum is on his side. Back on serve with the break in the ninth game. A chance to put the pressure even more so on Tim Sarah. A 5 2 lead just moments ago. New balls for Andy Roddick to serve at 4-5. with his last second serve. I think he'll go for the big one here. He will. He does not achieve the same result. Well, 30 all. Roddick's in danger of losing the set. Two points away. You see he comes up for a couple of points here. He has certainly swung the momentum back to his side of the court. Five all second set, Kevin Skinner alongside Sam Gore at this ATP World Tour 500 event. Second of 11 500 events in 2011. Robin Sutherland, champion in Rotterdam a few weeks ago. 500 ranking that has to go to host the trophy at this event. Of course, it all starts with the Grand Slam events, 2,000 ranking points to the champion there, then the nine Masters 1,000 events, and the 11 500. seemed to be just walking towards the locker room, almost conceding the second set when he dropped an early break of serve and just completely 
completely dominated in the opening set, but he has really turned things around and made this competitive. He got way more aggressive after he fell down, and it was a strategy that worked. And now that things are tied again, we'll see how he responds. Served by Tipsarovich, ended a run of three straight games for Roddick. And he has that dozen, 13 aces. He has still just lost five points on his first serve. It is his second serve that has abandoned him somewhat here in the second. But again, he's going for it. I like that. He's going to miss for Roddick. I think it's important to see that he's trying to be aggressive.
Roddick's no stranger to tie breaks. He usually has a very good win percentage over the course of a year. This is just the third time he's been extended to a 13th game in a set. And he won both of his previous, both of them coming at the Australian Open. Tip Sarovic, this is his sixth, where he holds a 3-2 advantage in 2011. He did a tie break in his opening round to get past Ryan Sweeney in straight sets. Is Tip Sarvich now up a mini break? Thank you. 